Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Recently I've started modeling again, which I have been really enjoying. And I just want to talk about this recent piece I made. I modeled pretty much the entire scene, made the material for the entire scene. Only thing I didn't do was the trees and the grass. So in this video, I'll just be going over the most important parts of making this. And I'll just be explaining what I did and why I did it along the way. So first we just had to start off with like a cylinder. And then I can add some loop cuts and extrude some bits to make the pillar. Uh, making a pillar isn't really that complicated. It should be pretty simple. This was the reference I used for for the scene i think it turned out pretty great i didn't closely follow the reference just like looking at some bits and then taking them into my own scene overall modeling the pillar wasn't really that hard i didn't uh, make it really complicated i tried making it complicated but it didn't work out as you can see here the pillar is complete i wanted to make kind of like a circle with it uh, because at first i thought that would be cool but later i changed my mind so i added an array modifier with a object offset which would be an empty and then every time you add a new array uh, object it will be moved and rotated and scaled the same way the object is so that way i could place my empty in the middle and then rotate around it a little bit but later i realized that was pretty hard so i changed it to a track 2 modifier set to y and z i believe so every pillar will be looking at the empty and then i had just had to place the pillars myself one of the hardest uh, things to model in this scene was the arches that are circular because I had to make them detailed, connected, and also have to make them curved along the circle. So I used a pretty interesting trick. I just added some cubes on top of every single pillar and then selected two of the faces and did a bridge faces selection. So we had an arch that could go to every single pillar which was a really cool method and i'm happy i figured it out because it was really hard otherwise at first i tried um with some like mesh deform modifiers casting it to a different mesh but that didn't work at all what i figured out was pretty uh, great the next thing i did was add some terrains but we're going to be skipping to my actual scene that i made because that looks a little bit prettier and is the main scope of this video so we'll be going over the indoors garden right now so after i finished that first runner i knew i wanted to make a indoors garden instead of like this um a garden for the outside with all the arches so i made one of the pillars a singular object and then rotated it back into place so it would be straight so i could use that then i figured out i wanted to do this much uh, how I did that was just the same way I did the arches in the circular garden uh, but instead I just made them straight of course and then had them end in the middle of the pillar I made a corner piece and a straight piece for every single one because that was uh, everything I needed really modeling this was pretty hard I deleted it a bunch of times but I figured it out somehow I still don't know how I figured it out but it works now the most hard part was probably uh, adding the bevel because that was so detailed and intricate that it was almost impossible to get it right with a good topology I'm not saying my topology is perfect, but it's uh, it's okay, it's manageable. Making the corner was also pretty tough, but I also figured that out in the end. Just a lot of knife tools and then constricting it to a single angle. In the corner, I didn't bevel the inside because that didn't work. Uh, so that was something I had to live with. If any of you have tips on how I could model that, uh, please let, let me know in the comments. Uh, if I added the bevel, didn't really look great it wasn't horrible but it just didn't look great so overall the uh, knife tool really helped out in this situation and as you can see i have pretty much finished the inside of the garden now we have to just uh, finish the walls and set up some lighting uh, by the way the material for this and the models of course are available on my comrades under the monthly support so you can check that out there how i achieved the uh, bevel was pretty simple i just added a bevel with nine loop cuts and then made a custom uh, profile which i freehanded to something intricate and i think it worked pretty well it did the job it's not like perfect uh but who cares anyway for the tiles i just wanted to randomize the rotation a little bit so they weren't all the same so i did that with proportional editing and then just uh, moving them a little bit and it worked pretty great uh, the material i did pretty much just slapped onto everything and it looked great later i added a object offset to the uh, coordinates because i was really bothered by uh, the repeating textures and it not being seamless everywhere so that's um 
I don't know how to make it like seamless, a Musgrave texture seamless. I know it can be seamless if you just uh, do it procedurally, but I don't know how to like make it seamless so you can bake it to texture and it be a seamless texture. But I just fixed that with a object offset and then just setting in the pillars on the outside and the arches and the roof. The walls were pretty simple, just uh, cubes. And then next, the best thing, in my opinion, was adding some nature and then some light. I was like the uh, lighting and the uh, nature part. I know I wanted to have a little bit of water in the middle, so I added that. Uh, sadly, you don't really see that in most of the renders. In some you do, but uh, in most of them you don't really see the water. But I also wanted to add some uh, a little island of ground so you can look at that and add in some foliage there. So I did that with the botanic add-on and then displaced the ground a little bit so I could scatter it on there. And then I added two trees outside the top of the building and then some water with lily pads on there, which I think look really cool. For the lighting, I just used a sun lamp, which is not really typical of me, but I figured I'd try something different. For the volumetrics, I just added a volume scatter node and did the same thing I used to do uh, for the first couple renders. But for the second and third, I think, I added a Musgrave texture to the density of the volume, so it looked more realistic, I guess you can say. A lot of you people uh, will probably comment like, oh, uh, Musgrave textures aren't realistic. Have you ever seen a Musgrave texture in real life? Uh, no, but you haven't either because you don't go outside. Uh, but yeah, overall, the Musgrave texture on the volume looks fine and it works well. Adding in the depth of field was really nice because I got to blur the uh, models I was making for the past three or four hours which i always adds a lot to the scene so i don't mind i made a total of eight renders for this scene which most of them took about 15 minutes to render i'll have all the render times just under the images but 15 minutes uh, seems a little bit much for me it's probably most amount of time i've spent on making a scene in blender for the past about a year uh, normally i don't spend more than one or two hours on the scene but this really it took a really long time and i'm really happy and i'm going to take more time for next renders because it really pays off but yeah as i've been saying i have been really enjoying making my own models which is a really big change uh, normally i couldn't achieve this indoor setting because i had to look at uh, pre-made assets and most of them don't go well together because they're from different people or they just don't look good or something else you know but for this i had 100 uh, percent control over everything i made everything myself except for of course the nature scenes the nature assets but i already told you that except for that it is pretty amazing what i came up with i think so leave a comment with what you thought of that and i would really appreciate it and also join the discord uh, it's a pretty big discord now and we talk a lot on there so if you want to join please join the link is in the description after rendering a lot of scenes i uh, added some different camera angles and also experimented with a lot of different focal length. For the render in the hallway, I added a lot of dirt on the sides of the uh, of the path uh, in the corners of the uh, walls because I thought I would really add some realism and make this place look even more overgrown than it already is because I wanted to go for like a um, reclaimed by nature type of render uh, so i thought in the hallways it couldn't be perfectly like clean it had to have some nature or grass or weeds growing out so i added that uh, pretty easy and just some proportional editing added some grass with botanic and it already looked amazing i also added some grass to the um, ceiling i wanted to make like a uh, mossy uh, roof so I just added some grass and then added some shrubbery. I also think that you can't really see it because it's too dark anyway. So it doesn't really matter that much. But it's still cool. It's there. I know it's there. After rendering that, uh, that was pretty much the end of it. I didn't really do much more. So that was all I had to say about this one. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.